early 80s, the A&R department was quite small, and it was bigger by the middle 80s. And then you'd have an A&R man hired, a young guy because he's young, or, <clears throat> you know, and, and we had Mark Cooper, you know, now head of BBC Entertainment, was an A&R guy, because we needed someone to look after, you know, you, you can't have one person looking after 20 acts, and we had loads of acts. We were always criticised for having too many acts, because our philosophy was to sign anything that looked good. It wasn't, you know, and there was, there was no, there was no budgets for signing. No one said this is the amount of money. We just signed acts, and we would find the money. Well, a, a much more unlikely type idea was Simple Minds, where I suggested Steve Hillage. And at the time, Steve Hillage was tainted, if you like, with the memory of all the hippie stuff. Mm -hmm. But it, by, he'd cut his hair short, and he'd produced some stuff for us, and he was brilliant. Mm -hmm. And he'd, he did a great job with Simple Minds. Mm -hmm. And they liked the idea, and they liked the fact that it was slightly off the wall. And he made one of their best records ever, the Sons and Fascination album. And that's really satisfying. I mean, that's what I enjoyed, was where you, where you got a, a producer and a band you know, to sort of, you can't always claim all the credit for it. I mean, the Human League, um, you know, they had this philosophy that they, or Phil had the philosophy that they would never use conventional instruments. Had to be, everything had to be electronic. And then they split up and neither Phil nor Adrian could play anything really. Um, and so the first record uh, just wasn't that great. It was looking a bit dodgy. And they went out on tour and they got the girls and then Phil said, uh, you know, I, um, I've got an idea for a producer. I'd really like to work with Martin Rushant. And I don't know why, but he just some records he'd heard Martin produce for Liberty, UA, whatever. So I phoned Martin and I said, you know, we, th we think the <laughs> that you'd be very good with the Human League. And uh, he came over to see me and he'd got the finished album that he just produced with Pete Shelley, which used the Lindrum. And I went, wow, this is fantastic, because it sounds like real drums, proper drumming, but it's electronic, and the Human League are going to love this. And he went and made Sound of the Crowd, and it was brilliant, and it was a hit. And when Pete Shelley's record came out, it didn't sound so just as fresh, because the Human League had stole. So I don't think anyone much had used Lindrums before then. 